Greetings diecast racing fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. Today um, we still not got the electrical issue sorted out with the A11 Outlaws track so um, instead of bringing you that I'm going to bring you an unboxing of a load of the stuff that I've got uh, coming recently and what I've bought. Um, it will give you an insight into what's coming up um, with future races and what I'm collecting at the minute. Um, so what I've got here is stuff that I've collected from car boots, which are the stuff in the grey trays and um, stuff like that. Um, things that I have bought from the local shop, which you'll see there. And then the two other boxes you can see there are things that I've bought uh, online and have been shipped to me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay everything out and then I'll go through them. Um, don't forget to do the usual things like comment and subscribe and let's get down to what we've actually got. Right, as you can see there was an awful lot in there including at the back some more A11 Outlaws track. Um, I'll try and go through them in some sort of reasonable order um, and sort through them. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll see in a few seconds. So this is everything out. I'm now going to pause it, move stuff around so that I can go through it in a sort of some 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 sort of sensible order with you. Right. Um, hopefully this will make some sort of sense. So these are the ones directly in front of you here, the loose ones that aren't generally for an individual competition as such um and have been picked up because of how they look or because of their age or sentimental value so we'll start with this one which is um the must the rtr mustang x um which is 68 ford mustang boss 302 but it's in the um, color scheme for rtr um i have picked up the three um RTR Mustang uh, Mac 5s, uh, not Mac, they're not Mac E, they're the um, RTR Spec 5 drift cars. I've got Vaughan Gittin Juniors, I've got Chelsea Denofas, and I've got Adam LZ. So this is to go with those. Um, this was really cool. Very Optimus Prime. Got some gorgeous tampos on it, nice wheels. Um, so it's the caged cargo. I really like the look of that. Runs really well. Um, this one I picked up. I didn't realise it was on rubber wheels. So uh, it's the Ford Anglia. Because um, I was thinking potentially for A11 Outlaws. But with those wheels on I don't think it would do very well. But this is the one, the Harry Potter one. So that's another Ford. Um, I picked up this one because it is very much uh, like the Ford van that my grandfather used to drive, but his was blue. I have got a blue one. Um, the blue one will probably be appearing in A11 Outlaws, and there may be a version of this where we race red versus blue with uh, Hikari Rin and the Flying Fenman racing off with these two. Um, Ford Probe. Uh, matchbox one um, pick that up as well um, this is kind of for a comp but it's not really getting going yet uh, I'll deal with those in a second so I also picked up the Morris Minor because I have a couple of these uh, that they call in the MG Rover um, that I intend on running one of these in A11 Outlaws so that's another um, A11 Outlaws. This one arrived too late for the truck comp, uh, the pickup truck comp, but it's a really nice cast. Uh, lovely colour of the 69 Chevy. Okay, um, let's start the front here. So these are classic racing ones. So the Corgi, uh, which is the BMW uh, one there. It's got Silverstone Racetrack on the top, so that was why I picked that one up. Um, opening features has a frunk, 
It is a Matchbox Metal Upper Metal Lower BMW M1. Um, so one of the first supercars that I really loved. I mean, I love the Lamborghini Countach, um, but then I have a bigger version of this um, in my toy box in yellow. Um, so I couldn't resist picking that up. Recently had the Vans Comp. Um, this one is quite cool. has a bat on it. Um, and is a Matchbox Superfast number 68 Chevy van. So it's an older one. Um, so again, for that. Um, BP Visco Nova. So Vauxhall Nova. Back to my college days. And several friends had these. A Corgi. Um, but they drove Novas. Because that's what we had then. Uh, likewise, the Metro. Uh, the Mini Metro. Or the Austin Metro. Um, again, we've got opening doors, we've got the driver's wheel on the correct side, and it has a tow bar on it. You know, play features we don't get these days. Around the same time, it was the Renault 5 uh, Turbo, um, again from Corgi, got a tow bar on the back. Um, if I can get a decent running one of these, I'd like to include it in the Rally Comp. So those are those four. Let's push them off to one side. Uh, these are... You know, I'm collecting F1 cars. I might do an F1 race at some point. So obviously a Ferrari. I'm sure that Rob Allen um, will love the look of that one. He's a big Ferrari fanboy. Um, I've been collecting a few of these. Again, may come in for A11 Outlaws. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but um, it has a really nice look to it. And being orange, I'm sure Cuboid will love that one. Cadillac CTSV. Um just different um this is yeah ctsv it's the 2009 one um i just thought it had a nice clean look again i may do something uh with that down the line and we've got a metal base metal upper um let's see if we can get it the right way over no it's over that way so it is a Hot Wheels, but um, or maybe plastic top, I don't know. But nice tampos. Um, and again, I think that look might look quite good. Doesn't have much ground clearance. Uh, we'll see how that one does. You know how much I love my blue, so I couldn't resist picking up this um, Chevy Corvette. Uh, ZR1 2008 and I love the wheels on this so that's those talking about other super fast ones um, this one picked my interest because it was a bit different uh, it is a 2001 BN Engineering Adonis so it's very different and it's got some again some interesting tampos it's got the white on the wheels which look really nice um, thought that was a bit different matchbox porsche i'm not that much of a porsche fan but it's blue and it's a gt1 um and it is a 911 gt1 uh, plastic spoiler on the rear thought that was quite cool and an alfa romeo 8c composition uh, like the green color on that I'm collecting some older stuff. Um, I will do something with these. These are quite cool. Metal upper, metal base. Um, the Cruella de Vil car is this cast. This one I thought was absolutely stunning. Has opening doors. Um, just has such a look to it. Shame it's not blue, but it's very similar on the front here, almost to my logo. So this is a custom 9036 Ford sedan. It's a matchbox one. Um, I don't think it'll run that well, but it just looks stunning. And this one, um, so fine. The um, Joker car that we'll come on to a bit later is the same as this car, but I just love the look of this. Um, if it runs all right, this again may be another A11 Outlaws one. Um, these ones I picked up for the, um, I'm going to do a Japanese race at some point. 
I'm not quite sure what at some point, but uh, we've got a Honda Civic, we've got a Nissan Z, and we've got a 95 Mazda RX-7. So those are those. Right. Just moving on quickly to the rigs. Uh, we've got a full P&O setup, P&O roadways with two containers on the back and the trailer. Um, looking for diorama reasons with those. Racing wise, we've got the Pepsi Race Trim trailer. I've just put it behind this because um, I don't have anything to hook it into. Um, it has opening side and it's like the horse trailer, I think, but just without the inside. So you've got opening rear, opening side, um, Pepsi Race Team. So again, that will come in at some point as far as that's concerned. Uh, this first one of these I picked up, I haven't clicked this on yet, that clips into there. Um, but Castrol, um, I'm trying to get a load of the race ones together um, so that we've got them for A11 Outlaws and stuff like that. Hence why we've got the HKS red one which slides. And we've got the Plymouth uh, one which doesn't, which is metal and metal. Um, I've got a couple of these. So those are the race trailers. Now on to the actual comp stuff. So a um, few comps that are coming up. I'm doing a uh, series with the um, 55, 57 um, Chevy Bel Airs. Uh, this one's quite cool. Um, and being a matchbox as opposed to a Hot Wheels. I've got a load of those and I've been collecting those for a while. I love the tampos, the colour and all of that on that one. Police cars. So we've got um, yeah, matchbox police car. Don't know what it's supposed to be or whether it's that, but it's a police car. Um, this one... Oh, Sheriff, the, this one's quite fast. I can't remember what this one is, but um, again, it's a Hot Wheels Sheriff. The blue Matchbox State Police, and that's the Ford Mustang LX SSP. Scooby, so it's the Subaru and Pets uh, uh, WRX 2007 up in police livery. We've got a couple of those that are on the uh, thing to support vehicles at Vulcan Raceway but this one may go into the rally comp it may go into the police comp but again it's that lovely blue and in a similar state we have got this version which is the same WRX 2007 but it's missing the light bar off the top different wheels um, but again um that's for the police stuff right um those those nascar um i'm supposed to there's one of the guys in america who's supposed to be sending me some nascar cars but in, between, in between times i'm collecting as many circle trackers and um things like that that i can um i don't know which one this is but um yeah looks like probably a pontiac possibly a pontiac i don't know uh, circle tracker I think that one is yeah um, and then also the race trucks um, so I can do a NASCAR if I get enough I'll do a NASCAR truck and I'll do a NASCAR um, car race um, so those are those that I'm collecting I'm going to do a taxi race so we've got a yellow checker cab um, there and we have got a colour shifters Cockney Cab 2 and we've also got this other gold Cockney Cab 2 I've got a few Cockney Cab 2's this may end up being the prize for the uh, competition because it looks quite like a um, British taxi I don't know uh, how that's going to shake down but that's that next comp Next up is superheroes, supervillains. So Batmobiles are easy to come by. There's several different versions here. This one's got Superman, Batman, all in one. Um, very nice blue bottom on it. It's obviously a twin mill. Um, but yeah, um, that one we've got the Batman Forever Batmobile, silver colour, and then we've got the red Batmobile. So those three. 
we've got the Thor car. We've got another Wonder Woman car. I've got several of these, so we'll see how they run. Uh, it's an Ultra Rage. Captain America. This one, uh, I can't remember what that one's called. Is it Boulevard Bruiser? Maybe Boulevard Bruiser. Now, I couldn't resist this one because it looks absolutely stunning. It has a matte white paint on it. Has the red wheels on the front, blue on the back. And it is a Harley Quinn themed one. Um, Fast Fish, I think it is. Um, and then we've got, I mentioned earlier, this is the Joker car, which again is a uh, so fine. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure whether they'll be in the superheroes race or not, but I couldn't resist picking that up. And um, I quite like the look of that other one as well. Right. I am planning to set up an off-road rally course and so I've been collecting a load of off-road rally vehicles. Uh, these are more the trucks and things like that but you may see the blue and the red ones of uh, the Track Ashes roll cage uh, in red versus blue racing. Um, they're quite cool. Um, we've also got a 2006 dune buggy um, we've got the Jeep Hurricane Concept, which is quite cool. Again, for red versus blue, but also for this uh, Jeep Compass. The blue looks so much more shiny, but we'll see how they go. Um, we've got, looking for a Paris Dakar style thing, we've got the Baja Bison T5. Um, which is saying it's green speed, so it may also appear in the electric trucks racing or the electric racing, which we'll come on to in a minute. Um, and then the Matchbox um, Paris Dakar truck. Um, we've got this one, which is really quite cool uh, Toyota RSC. This one, which is a Coyote 500. We've got Desert Racing. Uh, what is it? Ford F 160. SRT something. Is it a Razor? A Raptor 2010. With a tow bar that's been broken off, but that's quite cool. Uh, another sort of Baja racer, which is the Baja Bullet Land Rover Discovery Matchbox one, um, proper Discovery. And then we've got this old Corgi, which I've never seen before, but I had to, couldn't resist picking up because it's in its original box. Um, I know Cuba will like it because it's orange. It's got a shiny horse on the front. So there's that one. So on to ones just because. These are, people are going crazy for these. I've already sent three of these to America uh, to scoop at Poverty Hollow. Uh, the 89 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG. Um, so I've got two of those. I don't know whether they'll race well, but one will get opened and raced at some point, I'm sure. Uh, the other one will stay in packaging for later use. Um, I've got several versions of this. Uh, this will go into, uh, when we get the drag strip back up and racing, uh, Matt and Debbie Hayes uh, 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. There's pink ones, there's all sorts of different colours of that one, so I'm keeping a load of those. Brand new cast out, which I really quite look like the look of, uh, the BMW i8 Roadster. Takes me back to that BMW M1 um, look. Um, now... Is it an i8 making it electric? In which case it could be an electrics racing, but I just wanted one. Um, hopefully they'll bring a blue one out. Um, that would be really cool. Um, loved the blue on the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. That will go into Sharky's selection. And the Pagani Zonda R, which again, nice blue. Coming at some point, I'm not quite sure where. 
look at ones just because um 40th anniversary cadillac escalade so that's really nice the silver 90 thunderbird which is an older one so yeah i thought i'd pick that one up and i just love the look of this 1940 forward but again it's a 40th edition one so we'll see what happens with that i know this is getting long so i'm going to try and get these through as fast as possible um for electrics racing uh, I've got two copies of the Jaguar I-Pace e trophy I love this. One of these will definitely be going for a Sharky personal ride. Uh, the other one will probably get raced in the electrics. Uh, the Fiat 500e, green speed, electric version, and the Tesla Model 5 in blue. So as I say, they're going to go for the electrics. Now, rally cars. Don't think this will race but it's 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 such a classic um the peugeot 205 gti um 1.6 opening rear end love it um two ford escorts so we've got this version which is the escort rally the front headlights and the top spoiler and then the snowstormers version of the same car um, they're both hot wheels but one's round one way and runs around the other but yeah uh, it's got a rear spot i don't know which is going to be faster of these so it'll be interesting to see how they run also for the rally racing we have got the rally special in the um Color scheme, it's almost the Castrol color scheme uh, on that. We've got two more of the 84 Audi Sport Quattros. Uh, we'll see a few of those. And I've picked up a 08 Ford Focus to go in with all of that. Right, um, picked up two more of these for the little car racing. This is another one for a uh, spare for um, Phil, Tom the RC, um, because this is his logo um, but I'm he's one of the track sponsors we've already got one of these open but that's a spare for that and I like that black one as well so we've got several of those these two I couldn't resist picking up so we've got the three squealer and we've got the scorching scooter uh, Hot Wheels City uh, older ones with riders and i have something planned for these uh, i'm not talking about potential prizes i've been collecting quite a few of these speed racer ones and this one uh, wrecked max six with jump uh, jacks um, will probably go as a, a prize for that competition when i do that you can see on the back here several different versions of all of the ones from that series um, i've been collecting them for a while and this will probably be the prize talking of prizes these were picked up as prizes um, we've got 40th and edition 16 angels treasure hunt in blue we've got a 34 ford again a treasure hunt and we've got a dodge challenger funny car treasure hunt uh, 40th anniversary edition again prizes for competitions right last little section um, and then i'll conclude the video um, i know it's getting quite long but thank you for watching i couldn't resist picking this up because it is in the police battenberg it's a matchbox super fast volvo v60 um, the 2005 but it's got that battenberg livery on it um, some nice other vehicles in that series but my dad, who is represented at the track as the Flying Fenman, um, was a police grade one driver. Um, he was known as the Flying Fenman, hence why that and the story behind that. I've been looking for a Volvo um, police car for him. I've been looking for a Volvo 244 police car. 
for him. Um, this is probably not going to get opened. Um, we'll probably go with the collection on the shelf. And if I manage to pick up a second one, then maybe. But um, <clears throat> there are plans to get one painted when Keldon has time um, of the Volvo Drifts uh, to make it a police one. But yeah, a lot of sentimental value to this one and uh, means an awful lot to me. Right, the ones that you see around the track. I picked up another Aston Martin Vulcan in the blue colour out of the multi-pack. And I picked this up because it's gorgeous. So it's the Aston Martin 177, but it is a ID car. Um, I don't have very many of those. Um, it was the right amount of money, so I picked it up. I don't know how it'll run. I don't know if it'll run, but yeah. Um, Lotuses. Another Lotus Evera. Um, two M250s, the silver one, which is quite stunning. This one I think is really, really beautiful. Um, one of these may make it into A11 Outlaws. Um, we've had several versions of this. This is the McDonald's one, which lights up. This one doesn't, but um, yeah. Um, gorgeous love it the one that i've won so many comps with around the world and i pick up as many copies of this as i can um the um lotus esprit in white with the green stripe and my one that i race on vulcan Wasteway has beat everything that it's gone up against um because it's that fast um this one's another lotus esprit um as plastic as opposed to a molded rear bump uh rear spoiler sorry um but it's essentially the same as this but doesn't have as much get up and go and then i picked up well, another one of these and hopefully you get a good one metal up and metal bow but uh bottom lotus elise in yellow last up cobras I will collect them, I will buy them all, I will have them all, and there is a Cobra race coming up. Um, so I've got one open and two more box ones of that version. I've got another, this is the older one with the, the metal upper, metal lower, so this should be quite fast. Um, opening bonnet, this is this is quite heavy. And I picked up the another version of the color shifters which may go as the prize for the competition um, because this should be on the faster than ever axles so I see that so that concludes today's video i hope it hasn't been too boring for people thank you very much for watching um, next week we are back with um, the top eight of the pickup shootout. And I'll catch you all again then.